The tiniest division we have on our rulers is the humble millimetre. Around ten of them are needed to measure a fingernail. Tiny it may seem, but let's make the diminutive millimetre into something rather more fitting as our portal into the Lilliputian world of CERN's particle physicists. Our one millimetre column is ideal for measuring the dimensions of this beautiful ice crystal. But let's zoom into the crystal and find a single water molecule. It's made up of one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms and is so small that the magnification to view it this size would make our tiny one millimetre column stretch to the height of the alpine peaks that form the backdrop to CERN's laboratories. If we look at the nucleus of a single one of the water's hydrogen atoms, we discover a single proton containing three quarks held together by gluons. Our one millimetre column on this scale would be the same diameter as the moon's orbit round our Earth. Inside the proton are three quarks. Our one millimetre column, by comparison, would at least be equivalent to the distance between the Sun and Jupiter. Zooming into a quark, CERN's Large Hadron Collider may ultimately point us in the direction of superstrings. By vibrating in different ways, these superstrings may make up the variety of particles we think of today as fundamental. These superstrings are so small that our one millimetre column could, by comparison, be equivalent not just to the size of our visible universe, but to 1,000 universes made end to end. Strangely, it takes the vast size and power of the Large Hadron Collider, the world's biggest scientific project ever, to enter this unimaginably small world.